please don't wake me from this What's going on legends, LGG Alden here. Today I'm back with another base building tutorial for the forest. Now, if you've ever seen in the game, you see this little like peninsula sort of thing, and there's a giant tree out there. Now, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I've actually done this in single player before. This time I built it using mods only for the purpose of the video, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool base. So as you can see, if I sort of fly over to here, it all comes to life. Now, this isn't the most efficient way you can build a base, but this is definitely a very cool system. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It will stop all mutants from coming on this side of this peninsula. As you can see, there's a tree house. There is the actual storage house, even a camp, little um, farms, and everything that you need here. So definitely a very good base design, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So the first step to building this base guys, which is the hardest part and the most time consuming part is the walls, but the walls are required to pretty much claim this land as your own. So you're going to want to start it off as you can see a little bit past here because mutants could run up this and possibly get up to here. So you want to make sure that you're starting it enough over on the rock, but starting it there. Plus this is one of the fastest ways to, or the smallest areas to build the wall. So make sure you go all the way across to here, and you're going to want to drag it to about here-ish maybe. You don't need it to go crazy far out, and pretty much just as wide as you want it to be, as long as you're about on the edge of the rock, because mutants aren't going to be able to sneak around the side of the rock, but at the same time, make sure that you don't have it like here, because they definitely could get a round. So make sure to just place it wherever, and then you're good. As you can see, it can take anywhere from 80, I've seen it take 100, it can take a lot, Sometimes it helps and yeah, but it does basically guarantee that you own this entire part of the land One thing that I didn't mention is make sure to remove two areas at least or however many you want for doorways As you can see I removed that one and you can pretty much just remove them wherever you want And the way you're gonna fill those in is you're gonna take an object and basically just build a Doorway object whatever you want to do wall with a door kind of line it up as perfect as possible it doesn't have to be the best as it can be as long as you can see like where when I'm lining up the blueprints you want it so that it sort of goes through both walls it's okay if you have like that little bit of space or no matter how angled it is just make sure that you go and you place at least one doorway or else it's gonna be kind of tricky to get out and through like I said if it like I said if it goes through both of the walls that's not a problem as long as the doorway isn't blocked so as you can see like that there you go so then you can continue building the wall and once you're done with that you can move on to the next step as you can see once you have that wall completely built you practically own that entire side because it is going to be very hard and the chances that a mutant will walk around here are very very slim especially depending on the area that you have the area the amount of little bit of space that you have like somewhere over here especially they're not going to be able to get around it so you practically own this entire land right here now however big you want it the further back you go the more logs it's going to take to build so if you go somewhere here compared to there as you can see it goes a lot wider and it can definitely take a lot more logs but everything is completely up to you and the only reason that I suggested defensive walls is because they're sturdier and also this is another optional this one is completely optional but it's definitely suggested so what you got to do is you have to go and you have to get the defensive wall spikes so defensive wall spikes the only reason that they're really good is because they pretty much keep a lot of them away from attempting to smash your base or do anything with your base so as you can see just kind of and you don't have to do it to all of them you can do it to most of them sometimes you don't even have to get the corners but you can put it on all of them as you can see it takes 15 rocks and 10 sticks it could be a lot it can add up to a lot once you have every single wall so you got to be careful about that but having that is not a bad idea so you pretty much be defending every wall except for your doorway so just make sure that if they start smashing on your doorway or something you repair it after you have all of that built as you can see it makes it a lot harder for mutants to come and attack because they will have to go through your spikes which just adds an insane amount of defense to the wall especially because this wall is pretty much what's going to be holding them back from getting to your side of this whole entire island so the next thing is pretty much completely optional and it's just excessive 
only just to have some sort of a cool style apparel and something just kind of cool you can do. So as you can see, there's a giant tree here. What you can do is you can almost make like a makeshift treehouse. Now this tree obviously doesn't use the tree platforms and stuff, so it makes it a little bit more complex to work with, but you can sort of work around it in a way and make it look as if it was like a treehouse, but this could work. You could build a bed on the ground. Now this is just, you know, something like I said, cool. It's something funny you can do, and you know, if somebody sees your world, they're going to be like, ha, oh, that's cool, you made a treehouse. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to go into custom foundation, and you're going to want to level it up about as close to a decent sized branch so you don't want it to be too crazy tall but you want to start over here so that you don't see the foundation or you see it as little as possible so the way you're going to want to do this is kind of start it off somewhere about almost even with one of the branches and you're going to have this go over to about this branch so then have it go at whatever about the same height and then over to here about into this one somewhere into there you can actually make it hidden into it then you won't even see it at all and then the last step is make it go out into this branch so once you have that you're good it won't take too many logs as you can see and then once you have it built I'll show you guys the next step the next step guys is making some sort of a way to reach up to there now the best way that you can make it is at least the way that I do it is with custom stairs because it's pretty simple and it doesn't really take a lot so you can make this go whatever side you want however you want to do it as you can see it's going to kind of level itself onto that platform which is exactly what you need doesn't matter which way it's facing just as long as you have it level and you can kind of go almost as far over as it'll work as long as you get the you know the thing that says you're good to go so kind of level it up on there and then you can place it as you can see it built sort of a smaller platform and you can have this go at whatever height as long as it's you know reasonably climbable sometimes it's smarter to almost have it so that it's two platforms so that it would be like goes down and then like this and then it also goes down again so it'd be almost like kind of like this of a platform and then you'll be good and as you can see it'll go straight up into the top of the tree house once you have that created, guys, you can walk up the stairs. As you can see, if you did it right, it'll line up perfectly, and you'll be able to stand up here in top of the tree, and you can actually get a pretty good view from here. But the next step is building a bed. So obviously, you just need, you know, your default little bed, and you can go, I believe it's in furniture right here, as you can see, and place it anywhere in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, however you want it, wherever you want it. Just pretty much just place a bed. And other things you can do if you want another good idea. This is just for, you know, other primary things you need. You can build yourself a campfire up here so that you also have a little bit of lighting. And if you want to have lighting without having a campfire going, you can also go to the um, decorations. And as you can see, there's the skull lamps. You can place like one or two of them wherever you want them, just maybe in a corner. You don't even need more than two and you'll be good to go you're going to want to do guys is you're going to want to build a little bit of like a house now it doesn't have to be huge it can be whatever size you want but as you can see that'll kind of act as the house part of it but this will be sort of where you can store everything so you want to have one part be almost here maybe raised up just a little bit so that it's not completely touching the ground and you're going to want this to go over now you can make this like i said any size you want i'm going to have mine go over four entire logs like this so before it goes to five, I'm going to cut it off about right there and it can be however you want it. I'll make it just like about this size right here. So about like this and then you can just have it go completely all the way around however you want it to be. It's completely up to you guys. But as you can see and then you can just have it go back to here. So there you go. You connect it and you're good. So now you have a little bit of a platform as you can see right there which is good that's what you need and then you're going to want to build that and then you're going to work on a little bit more interior walls and other things like i just said you're going to want to build custom walls around it so just grab the custom walls and all you have to do is hold c and it will make the walls now 
you want to pick the best spot for the door for me I'm gonna have it right over here because this will be the easiest spot to put my door and it's closest to the ground without having any issues and it's right by my other stairwell so if you want to make like little lookout areas you can add windows over here you can put windows wherever you could also have windows over here so you can see out doesn't matter wherever you want windows anything whatever works for you however you want it and then just go ahead and build all of those walls the next thing you're going to need, guys, is a little bit of a stairway just to get yourself into there. So what you're going to need is you're going to get custom stairs. All you have to do is pretty much just align it onto there however you want it, pretty much, and then just have it go down. So however you can get it to work best, because depending on the height, obviously, it makes a huge difference. But whatever you can get to work for it, however you can do it, go ahead and try your best at placing it. I kind of did a bad height, as you can tell. It's a little bit trickier to get it, but almost something like this works completely fine, and you'll be good to go. Also, you need to add a roof. So you can just go into build, and you'll see there's one for custom roof. Make sure you have it lined up on the top, not on the bottom. If you line it up on the top and you hold C, it'll go completely around and then you can pick whatever height. So if you want it to be really tall, you want it to be short, it's completely up to you. Whatever height you want it at, go ahead and put it there. You have that, guys. This is where you can start putting in anything you want in here. This is almost like a storage room in a way. So the way you can use it is you could give any type of storage holder. You can use all of them any of them whichever ones you want so you could have like a medicine cabinet somewhere you could have multiple medicine cabinets you could have multiple anything so for instance here's how I would do it I would take a medicine cabinet I would also have a snack bar which is you know all of these all of the essentials and I mean most of these are probably not gonna be completely used all the time but at the same time it doesn't hurt to have it so like you could put a weapon rack you can also put the explosive holders and then it's up to you how you guys feel about putting the, um, what's it called? These ones, all the different stick logs and rock holders. You could put these in here or you can keep them outside. I don't know if I would necessarily bring those inside because those are a lot of building supplies and not useful tools and things. So they're not necessarily needed here, but it's however you feel about it. You can put it, you don't have to, it's all up to you. Proper lighting in here, guys, you can use any sort of method. Another, a probably decently good one, is using a bunch of skull lamps, which is, you know, it'll give you plenty of light, except when it comes to these, you'll probably need to split it up evenly so that it lights up everything, and you might want to light it up on each side. If you use the skull lamps instead of the hanging skull lamps, what you can do is you can just put them on the ground, you can put them in corners, you can put them in the center, or you can build fires, it's up to you. I prefer skull lamps because with the skull lamps, you don't need to always light them, they automatically produce light. As you guys can see, I sort of tricked mine out to make mine look a lot cooler. Now, you don't have to go this far with it, you can if you want. This is pretty much because I made such a huge room. Now, you can make this so much smaller, you don't need a very huge room. Or you could put all of this outside. I recommend putting it into a room just in case. And it's also so that everything's kind of lit up and you have almost like a storage room. Also for everything that you need. I have medicine cabinets, baskets to hold arrows, bones, snack holders. You have the um, drying racks, stick holders, uh, rock holders, weapons, explosives, bunny pen things. You have um, a bench and I also even have my axe hanging up. And I also put campfires in the middle. It's up to you however you design this room. This room, I would say, is primarily going to be for storage. And it's a very good, useful kind of area to have. Now, make this a lot smaller. I made this way too huge. So make sure you don't have a giant, massive thing. But it also does take up a lot of this land. So it is kind of a, a good filler in a way. A little extra thing you guys can make if you want is sort of like an archery range kind of thing something to practice you could put a couple little archery things over here by the ma or by the tree if you want to a good reason to have them by the tree is so that if you miss from here like you can shoot anywhere from here you can shoot further back you can shoot at this angle however you want to put them wherever angle I would definitely recommend putting them somewhere against a wall or something like for instance like this tree having it against there it prevents you from accidentally shooting and like if you were to have them over here if you miss it goes straight into the ocean and you lose your arrow you could also have it so that it faces somewhere like here if you want to just something different you can add you can put it anywhere you want it's completely up to wherever you want it but somewhere against the wall is definitely recommended 
Water and food are also some really important things. Like I know in here we already have the rabbit holder and we also have the drying rack, but other sources of food that are really good is obviously small gardens. Now you have a ton of land, so anywhere in this land that you feel like placing a garden, whether it be further back, whether it be over here, I'm going to place mine back behind the tree. And you can kind of put as many as you want wherever you want. So having a lot of them is actually a really good thing because you'll have plenty of food and the more that you grow, the more you seeds you get and the more you can plant. And overall, it's one of the fastest sources or best sources for getting food besides killing animals and things. So plus you get the plants and you can use those for a lot of things. So yeah, building as many of these as you want, covering up. I usually do it behind the tree. You can do it anywhere you want. You could put it over here in the normal land. But another thing that you really need is water collectors because obviously water is a very important resource. So you can put those anywhere. I usually put them out here. Making sure you have them outside is a really good thing so that they fill up when it rains. So put as many as you want. I usually only get about three of them at the max just in case in case that you know not a lot of rain comes and then it'll at least fill up three of them so yeah you can that'll just be like a good source of food and water a little bonus thing you can put around here if you want you can make fences you can use either normal fences or you can use bone fences whichever one you feel like using I'm gonna do normal fences just for this video but if you have a lot more bones or something definitely use a bone fence as much as it is stronger, it's not really going to make a huge difference. You're not going to really even need a fence based for protection. It's more just for style and look and all that just to make it, you know, a little bit of a cooler farm and it makes it feel more like a farm. So you can have this go pretty much just completely in a circle and then make sure to remove a few of them just so that you have ways into there. So like something right there, you could also remove another one over here wherever you feel like doing it, however you want to go. Just make sure that you do have some sort of a way into your little farm and you'll be good. One of the last major things, guys, that I want to show off that's really important about this base is lighting. As you can see, it's very dark here, and that's kind of a bad thing. You don't want it to be too dark. In here, it's obviously fairly lit up. If you light it up the same way that I showed you guys, especially having, like, if you see if I put campfires in here, it makes it even brighter here which is pretty much exactly what you need and this room will be lit up pretty fine as long as you use techniques like this and then obviously as you can tell if you go up here on top of the tree this part's lit up decent enough now one thing some other little tips you can use if you want to light it up a little bit more you could put another skull lamp you could put one over here on this platform if you want to if you have it set up like that you can also have the fastest way to light up something and the most huge area, the biggest or radius of lighting is bonfires. Bonfires are huge lighting resources. So putting them pretty much in key spots and making sure that they all light up good is actually one of the best ways to light things up. So as you can see, just putting them a decent distance apart but not too far apart and as well as, you know, giving them enough spots oh there we go let's remove that so i'm gonna put a few down it doesn't matter how many you put you can put as much as you want as many as you need or however you feel like it test it out maybe build one and then see where another one could go any technique like that as you can see right now i placed a bunch of bonfires i have them all around there i also have them back here as you can see a few of them now Obviously, yes, bonfires are the most important way to light something up when it's big radius areas so that you're not doing little sinkers, campfires, and all that. Now, obviously, you have to light them all at night, which isn't really a huge deal as long as it keeps everything lit up. And if you depend, it depends really if you're staying up throughout the entire night or if you want to just skip through it, don't even worry about lighting them. But I kind of might have overdid it a little bit. As you can see, there's a ton of them. But like I said, do as many as you feel you need definitely lights this up as you saw before it was really dark and now it's definitely a lot lighter the last thing that i'm going to suggest to you guys is that building traps now obviously as you can tell they're only going to come from one direction and that direction is this way so they can't come from anywhere else so the smartest thing to do is build traps out here you could build as many as you want just make sure that they're not going to get activated by you whether that be building leaf piles Molotov tripwire traps, explosives, you could even go crazy, do the death ball, happy birthday traps, new trap, any of these traps. All these traps are obviously really, really efficient and really good ideas 
and can be used for, you know, stopping them on their way here. Make sure to do a lot of resettable ones, so not like the trip wires and ones, because some of those are really complicated and can use a lot of resources. The bigger radius ones are really smart, except they do tend to find their ways around them, but you never know. Occasionally, you might actually catch some of them, so it's worth a shot, definitely, if you have extra resources or just extra time to start building some different layouts of traps and sort of try to stop them in their tracks from even getting to your base. So that'll be it for this base building guys. So hopefully this did help you guys and I hope you guys do enjoy this design. Definitely a very good one. The major tips that I have for this base, don't overdo it. Don't do more than you need to, especially if you're in single player really going to take a long time. One of the hardest things will be a wall. And of course, don't build a, a room as big as this one. This room is definitely way huger than it needs to be. And I only did it just to kind of show you guys an idea. You can definitely make that a lot smaller. Now, if you guys obviously have an entire team, you obviously will be getting a lot faster build production. So maybe, yeah, you guys can try that. Go for it. Building log sleds, definitely one of the keys to this because you obviously have to travel all the way over to here just to get trees. And the more trees you get, the further you're going to have to travel just to get back to here. So I definitely recommend log sleds. Good idea. And the other thing is, if you're doing this in multiplayer, recently they added the sleep system. Make sure to build multiple deads. I know you have the one up here, but... If you can, maybe build a few more in here, however you want to go about it, if you are doing this in multiplayer. I recommend building a couple beds so at least everybody in your team or whatever your crew is, the amount of size, to have that many beds, all of you can sleep in the base then and you can skip through night if you want to. If you guys did enjoy this video and this video did help you and you think this is an awesome base design, make sure to like this video and if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe for more forest content and other things. Comment below if you have any cool ideas on how this base could be altered, other things you could add. One of the ideas that I came up with, if anybody has a cool way of doing it, building some sort of a side little dock because obviously you could build a boat, you could maybe build some sort of a staircase dock. I have no clue. Tell me what other cool ideas you guys have in the comments so other people can check it out and you guys can as a community sort of come up with newer ways to expand upon this base. And also tell me below if you guys enjoy these videos, if you guys want more of these, and tell me the kind of base you guys would be preferring, whether it be an awesome huge base like this, one of those full-on bases, or if you would want more one that's smaller but based a lot towards efficient survival. It's up to you guys, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be a legend, and I will see you guys next time.